So today <laughs> we are going to get right into how you will remove that cap that be underneath that pronto or that quick weave sticky icky and all of that stuck to your hair we're going to gently remove that off today and I'm also going to show you how to remove the glue from your hair without ripping your hair out so this is just like a security of how to safely remove these things from your head and you don't have to worry about losing hair or anything like that i am just removing that frontal because well closure rather because it wasn't stuck to my head or nothing but it came right off that forehead with no effort okay so when you sweat and you do all of that it meshes with that glue that adhesive and it basically just slides off depending on how long you had it on so i had that on for at least about a week and a half and it did its thing it just peeled right off now if it was fresh my honeys and you put that uh, lace glue on and you try to take it right off in a couple days you're guaranteed to lose some hair it's because it's it's too stuck down you got to give it a chance to get old and all that but it, then again like i said you could also just wet it and use some alcohol and then lift it if you're trying to lift it sooner than expected but i'm going to remove all my tracks off of the cap I told you guys this is how I was to do it back in the day okay so this is not a pronto this is a quick weave and the difference is just a pronto you will have braids underneath and then the quick weave was when I gelled my hair down in the last video and um, put the goodness all through it so I would just remove all the tracks you don't really want to remove tracks while your hair is wet because when your hair is wet it will break off more okay so you don't want to get the yanking and pulling on wet hair so i try to pull as much off as i can um while it's dry and if i have any tracks that stuck somewhere and i can't just get it off i will cut the remainder track that's hanging from that stuck track i will just cut that off and then when i go through the process of actually getting everything off then i will um pick at it play with it and take it off but for this video we didn't have any tracks that was stuck i'm just taking my fingers along my hairline holding it down as i remove this track you see as it's pulling on my edge i'm going to push that edge down and then i'm going to remove it i showed you guys this in the last video so this really is just a wash day video i had to turn it to a wash day because it was too long for me to do this process and the hairstyle that will be coming up next so i am basically just showing you guys everything i explained when i said I how i removed the tracks and everything so we're going to go through all of that and wash it out and comb these glue balls out your head and all of that it's pulling but i'm not yanking on anything i am just going to gently okay pull it but i will be explaining a little more about um the glue and everything washing it out within this video my honey so i just have to come in and let you know exactly what was going on and this is our second time with this cap on with two different styles so all that glue is from two different styles okay only where we didn't put glue was where the closure was and we used the same closure so um now we're going to go start this process of actually removing that glue and removing that cap so that you won't lose edge my honeys we can't be messing with that edge you already know so we just got to do everything gently and it's a process so it's pretty much up to you of which way you want to do your quick weaves whether it's a pronto or whether it's gelled okay so when you gel it that's called molding it and when you braid it it's just called a pronto okay so this way for me grows the heck out of my head oh my god like my hair grows so much when i have all that goodness and that gel in there like that and then i let that quick weave sit for two weeks or however and my hair is eating the whole time that it's in so i don't really let this bother me you know so we are just gonna go ahead and show you how you're gonna grow that hair you're gonna get rid of this bs and all of that and then you're gonna have to reinstall okay so our next video will be 
reinstalling okay my honeys but as of right now leave me a comment below and let me know which way you rather have your quick weeds whether it's molded or whether it is a pronto okay my honeys you better believe i'm saving these tracks because this is still good hair and i can add it in the bang somewhere at some point for a color you know something like that but anywho so this cap okay it, it's been glued down twice on my head and also this is the process that i was telling y'all about when i say i take my how i take my tracks out and how i comb this glue out my hair so i'm not going in doing anything until everything is softened and all of that Look how that cap is just peeling. So, it's still caught in some areas. All I do is put me some some shampoo on those areas and then, you know. Now, usually I'm just over the sink, okay? It's, I'm gonna wet it real good and then I put all the um, shampoo through it and I work my fingers through it and loosen that glue and peel the cap. And like I said back then, we didn't even use a cap. So, um, now that I want to show my honeys, you know, I got to switch it up and we in the bathroom. But ultimately, I am going to go to that sink and then by that time, everything will be loosened. And all I will have to do is kind of just comb it through with my favorite comb I like to use. Don't forget we got all that goodness, all that gel in there, packed in there. So once everything come together, it is going to be a mess. And then that glue is going to come out so easily. Look at that. It's just peeling right off. If you get stuck at a section, honey, uh-uh. Put some more conditioner, put some more water. Don't go yanking on anything. Your hair is way more brittle when it's wet. You would do nothing but break that off. I use as much product as I need to to assure that I ain't pulling my hair out. <clears throat> this is my ponytail, my honeys, and it's stuck onto the cap. Now that's pretty strong. You know, your hair is strong in that area. I'm, I was more worried about that edge. Look at that edge. It has went nowhere. So we ain't letting that bother us. Perfect. All you see is the weave on here, my honey. You don't even see my hair. So, we saved it. So when you think about it, there's no hair. I mean, there's no real glue on my hair, my honey. Like, look. There's no real glue. It's some over here a little bit. It's some on that neckline a little bit. But we don't let that bother us, okay? We just wet it down. Throw that shampoo. Look, when I wet that, all that gel and shampoo and ooky gooky is going to mix and mesh. Mm -hmm. 
doing this to give it time to loosen up, you know, soften up rather. You gotta give it time, my honey. You don't just wanna go right in on it. Let the chemicals and the everything else do its job first. Then go in for the kill using water. Water is that key to get everything softened up. Okay, my honey, I went and wet everything down and I put the shampoo all through it. You massaging it, massaging, massaging. Look at that, all that gel. You know shampoo, shampoo is white. So that's how, that's what I like is to just let it all mix and mesh, you know. And for some odd reason, that does the trick for me. I told you it get messy. But then I go in and kind of part sections so I can make sure everything is combed out. You see, like, the, the glue is preventing me from going straight through, but I'm picking at it. It's coming right on down. Once I get it down that far, I go to them ends. I start combing from the end, mixing all that stuff. You see how messy it is? Dripping. It's coming straight out, though. You see how I squeeze that down with it? I use all of that to get these ends together. That's all that glue coming out. So this is the glue ball. It's nothing major. When you taking braids out, when you taking this and that out, you always get some type of shedage. That just means that the dead hair is leaving and new hair has been generated. So we're not gonna let that bother. Now look how smooth this is, I can go straight through. Boop. So I do that all over. Now look, while I'm over here working on this side, this side is just loosening up even more. You know it's not barely any glue in that middle because we had the ponytail covering that. But if you don't have a lot of hair, you're gonna have the glue wherever, you know, the glue came. So look. I'm picking. Bring it on down. I'm trying to keep all of the gookiness within this piece instead of squeezing it all out at one time and wasting it. You know, I want it to stay in there and I'm just picking with the gook. It's real gooky. If I wring it all out, my honeys, that would defeat the purpose. So that's why I don't rinse it. I just wet my hair down and put shampoo and then I move along and pick at it and play with it. And look, this is the glue ball. That's all the glue from that section. I don't go, I, I pick it on out of there, boo. That's all, ooh. It's all the glue from that section. Don't be scared of the glue, okay? Now this that middle part, I don't really have glue there, so I can kind of go through and just comb. Now when I get to get combing like this, then I get to a part where it's starting to get stuck, I part it out. Cause you don't want to do too much at one time. You will get frustrated and then just start yanking your hair probably. I have done it in the past. But, you know, I get everything in that section combed on out. Keeping my gook. Look at all of that. That's that's uh, glue, glue balls. I can't go no further. So now I just start plucking from the bottom, using this gook here to comb through it. This is gonna be the last section, my honeys, because you know this is never a video about this. It's always supposed to be about the style. But you know I give it to my honeys, uncut, raw, and dirty, my honey. So guess what? If you have not already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because you do not want to miss these tips over here in Kale's Nation because I do spill and I don't come to play. So, if you haven't already, go check out that website, kaleshairandbeauty.com and get you a notebook and an ink pen so you can write these things down.
you would know, you know, mark your days. Like, okay, when I do my hair day or my this day, make tips for that. This is all the glue from that section. Yeah, had them tips going so we can grow our hair now. This is a new year. We is trying to get some lengthage, okay? Some inches, natural inches for that summertime, okay? Or whenever you like to wear hair. I usually would like to wear my hair in the summer. Just because, you know, I don't know. I wore my hair every summer for like 10 years. So that means all the rest of the years, my honey, it's tucked off in protective styles, weaves, whatever. Like this was one of my favorite protective styles. I would just do me a little quick weave. And all this nice gooky, ooky stuff is like, it, it kept my hair good. Look at my hair. I ain't really worried about losing hair from this process, you know? And I know everybody don't agree with glue. Everybody don't agree with heat. Everybody don't agree with everything. Different strokes for different folks. But if you actually seen this stuff done, you know, and then see the outcome of my hair, nothing has happened, you make reconsider it. Like, okay, she used a little heat more, more than off than she should, but her hair's still good. Oh, okay, she got that glue in there. Combing it out gently, all this and that, but her hair feel good. So it's like I want I want my honeys to feel it. I want you guys to see and know. You can be versatile, okay? Let's get outside these boxes and just do what we gotta do. Cause like I said, this year I'm gonna be messing with all type of colors and stuff like that. I never was afraid of color anyway. I was never afraid of color. But um that I think it was a little ghetto to be walking around with pink hair and green hair yesterday. I sure did. And the field that I was in, you know, we couldn't wear all that. So it was it wasn't something that I could do and play with. So I had to stay in some type of box, right? But now I'm a YouTuber, I can do whatever I want to do. So if I didn't ever try it, and now's the time for me to be able to try it freely. And show my honeys what it's hitting for. Look at this hair though, my honeys. Can we just take out a moment of That hair is gorge. It's nice and healthy. Now y'all know I had issues with the top of my hair. I had eczema up there and my hair fell out. That's why we ain't really been doing no close up videos on natural hair and all of that. So I can't even really show my honeys or tell my honeys too much about it just because I'm, I was I was doing something. I've been working on it to grow it back. So it's like, okay, when I come with this final product, then I'm be able to make a nice whole video about it, my little testimony of this, you know? And uh, for people that may be struggling with that same thing. So we're gonna talk about it. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about it. But in the meantime, in between time, I had took so much good care of my hair trying to grow back the top section. Then look at this. This bottom section is just like, hey, you know, this never really fell off. So it's just growing accordingly, but that top is trying to catch up. We're done with this side, my honeys. You see what I'm saying? We are done with this side. And this hair is gorgeous. I can't wait till this summer to uh, actually wear it. Oh my God, look at that. So look, this is what I'm saying. We about to get our hair popping for this year, right? We about to get everything popping on the ones and twos. So we gonna start this journey together. What we're gonna do, this is gonna be my journey, okay? And you guys can jump on board. Just jump on board, let's just get to it. I'm gonna show my honey step by step and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure you know what you do and what to do before you do it, okay? But I'm gonna cut my hair. I'm gonna cut my hair, I want everything even, I want everything going one way, okay? So that way, as it grows back, it's growing back nice and healthy and even, and guess what, your hair grow back so fast. Thank you, baby, I'll get a hug, thank you, baby. It grow back so fast when you cut it and make sure that every autumn split ends is off and this is this and that. It grow back so fast, it's something for you not to even worry about. You be looking, oh my God, all my hair. 
Remember, I just cut my hair, my honey. Y'all see this? I had just cut it. It's been like six months, but in six months, look how many inches I got. So I like that. So at some point, if your hair is just damaged to the point of no return, cut it. Just cut it. Now, now I ain't saying big chop, go bald head. You know, everybody been going bald head. Now we don't go bald head. We gonna clip off all the dead ends and then we gonna start our journey from there. And as we're doing this, going through the journey, we're gonna keep our hair tucked off. We're not gonna mess with it. We're not gonna, look at it, it's starting to get sloppy. We're not gonna be adding all type of stuff to it and heat and this and that. Ain't nothing wrong with no heat, but it's just, when you going through that phase of trying to actually grow your hair, you really want to give it a break. You don't want to sit there and just keep tugging on it, pulling on it, and doing all this. Like, like I said, for these quick weeds, my honeys, I would have these things in for about two, three weeks. So this process right here ain't nothing but actually massaging my scalp and bringing blood to the scalp area to help with growth ditch because the nutrition from the blood is feeding my follicles. So I'm good to do this once a month, maybe even twice a month, okay? So yeah, I don't mind this process. This is me pampering and taking care of my hair, being gentle, giving it some love and some goodness for real. So, even though it's due to taking glue out, okay, we ain't letting that bother us. It's still serving its purpose. And out of all this combing, this is how much hair I'm losing, but this is actually glue balls. That's all the little glue balls, okay? So, we not letting that bother us. And my hair is wet, so it's more brittle. That's why I gotta be cautious and gentle. But then you got that gel in there that's making it flexible as well. Like if you just use straight shampoo for this, oh no, that's not gonna work. That's why, because that shampoo is harsh. It dries your hair out. It dries it right out and we don't want to do that. But here I go babbling on. Or whatever. I wasn't even supposed to do the whole head on camera, right, buddies? But you know I love to come in and talk to y'all. I love talking to my buddy, especially about some stuff that I feel like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we ain't gonna let this bother us, but we ain't gonna try to make this a long yeah. video. Now this little area is being stubborn, right? You got two options. You can go in with more shampoo on it, okay? More shampoo and that spray bottle. So I'm just going in with more water at this point. Look what that more water did. It's not stubborn no more. I'm able to comb straight through and get everything to the, I have enough shampoo in here that I really don't need to add anymore. But if you put that water on there and that water is not doing the trick, put some more shampoo too. By the time I comb all this out and get everything combed out, my honey, and rinse my hair, my hair is clean. Most people wash their hair twice. How many times do you wash your hair um, when you do a wash day? This is all the glue balls and all some of my hair that has came out with um, the glue. Still no biggie. So that means all together we got this and then what's in this comb? No biggie to me. It's not. But how many times do y'all wash y'all hair when y'all do a wash day? Look at this hair. Oh my lord. I usually wash my hair twice. Okay. Because, <clears throat> and then look, I ain't about to do nothing but um, put this back up. You feel me? So, I'm not even about to, I don't even really have to go into actually washing it again. I could really just rinse this stuff out. But, um, I'll go ahead and wash it again because whatever residue is left from the glue balls, if there's any, then I just wash all that out, okay? I don't really want any gel stuff still in there, anything like that. So I can usually tell when I go ahead and do that second wash and then it's squeaky clean. So two washes for me, I'm good to go. It ain't the washing part for real, my honeys, that you need to worry about. It's the conditioner. You want to make sure you putting that conditioner in there and letting that um, conditioner sit for the three to five minutes that it say. But like I always say, my honeys, I'm the type that's going to go walk, go around the house cleaning up, chasing KJ. So I've been had that dang on conditioner cap on because I put the conditioner and then I put a bag over my head. 
a Walmart bag, whatever. I've been walked around with that for like, uh, you know, a couple hours or whatever. Been fell asleep, took a nap, <laughs> woke up back to it. So, um, I let that conditioner sit and then deep condition. And then I um, rinse it out and I proceed to doing this process all over again for the next quick week. Now everything is combed out, everything is combed through, but I'm still just combing at it because I don't want any little stuck areas or any little blue balls in there at all. Because when I go rinse this out and take all this gooky out of there, it's not going to benefit me to go get leftover glue balls because it's going to rip my hair out. This gooky is the only thing that saves and helps me to get through that. Now I'm talking, but how long was that for me to take this stuff out? no time you know this is all the hair that was in the comb looks like a dang on dead rat with a little mouse rather so all together I got this okay and that's from two quick weaves so yes my honeys I got this chi conditioner and it is called an infra treatment thermal protection treatment and I guess that would mean that it's a heat protecting type of conditioner, but it also moisturizes the hair. It is a superior moisturizing and protecting um, treatment. They did, when I went in Marshalls and seen that, I said, oh yeah, come on with it. You know me, my honey, I use this stuff. I'm putting it all in there, every which way. That's why I was happy it was big. Like, you really could go buy, like, a little shampoo and just get a big conditioner because I'm going to use that conditioner. Look, there's nothing there. <laughs> we go to add some more. We ain't about to play with this stuff. Look at that, my honey. There's nothing there. <laughs> I need this stuff in my head. What is going on? I'm making show, sure, okay. This was my area that I'm, you know, making show. Sure get all the goodness so we can get it back. I'm combing it forward, my honeys, because when I go wash it under the sink, I want this stuff to rinse right out. I don't want to mess up the pattern. And by the time it rinses through, comb through like this, it would not need to be detangled as much, okay, once I put that towel over it. It's already combed through. You just letting that water run through. And then it's a wrap. <laughs> y'all, this nappy hair ain't no joke. I'm trying to tell y'all. This is how much hair. That's nothing to me. I'm sorry, my honeys. This hair is so god dang gone curly, you're gonna have some strands. Okay, so my daughter told me that she, um, cause she just had washed her hair. I don't think she washed it. I think I did her like eight braids to the back cause she was about to get a quick weave. But um, we never did the quick weave, but we're going to be doing that too on another video. But um, she took the braids out and combed the eight braids out. And then she gelled her hair up and just wore a ponytail for that day. And this is how much hair she lost. Now, mind you, she's telling me that she lost all this hair. Like, oh, my God. All my hair fell out. My, like, I think my hair is falling out. And I'm thinking like, well, dang, why is her hair falling out so bad? I'm like, well, how much hair was it? And she was like, look in that bag. It's a lot. Oh, my God. And this is what she came up with. <laughs> Y'all tell me, okay? Let's talk about it. In these comments, what, is this a lot of hair to lose when you're combing out a protective style that you've had in for like a month and a half? Is this, this is nothing to me. Like, I'm sorry. This is nothing to me. But in her mind, she was like, oh my God. Or whatever. So, 
Um, she has nice, good, thick hair too. So this is nothing compared to what her hair, well, how much hair she has. So, um, y'all leave me a comment and let me know what y'all think about this. Is this a lot of lossage to you, or is it just shedage? Because it's winter time, okay? The drier your hair is in that winter, that the more shedding that you will get. I'm showing my honeys how much hair you said you lost, and you think you bald here. This is nothing. It's not a lot. And I thought she was talking about a big bag full of hair. Like, just look at the bag. It's gone. It's all gone. I'm like, oh, wow, this? So while we let this sit, let's go through our other products that we had. I have already had this Chi product here, which was a uh, iron guard. So it's like a heat protector one. I bought this with the shampoo and conditioner kit when I went in there and synced it. I said, I got to have it. So this is a leave-in conditioner spray so it's even strengthening treatment okay so this was help with not having breakage and all of that too she is not cheap but at marshall's they're cheaper than what you would spend at target okay and what i'm gonna do is try to find it in my amazon and link it in the store so y'all go check that out in the description of the amazon store and shop with kales and that way you could help support my channel because i'm trying to give you this goodness you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go on there and i'm gonna try to find some decent prices for this stuff and then i'm gonna link it down there and all you gotta do is go and check out anything there because everything that we talk about on this channel is in the amazon store so whatever it is that you may think you want to uh be interested in purchasing that i am using you can go to the amazon store down in the description and just go and buy it and we can get to it and as you already should know my honeys i'm going through putting all my goodness in i put about 12 different things in my head before i mold it so i can grow it and that's what i use for my face so i just washed my hair it's very dry and i put that cocoa butter on there and then i spray my little um herbal sprays to my face and then just let it air dry okay so spray enough let it air dry and then my, i'm good to go my skin is not crunchy you see how i dried it going all that way you know that this is combed out so we about to go in honey with everything under the sun you know that shrinkage be real <laughs> My honeys, this time I am going to blow dry it all out because last time I didn't and it was very tangled so I had to kind of part sections with the gel to detangle but if I blow dry it out, I can just put the gel right on top and then I don't have to worry about um, that process. It took me longer than expected just to dry my hair just to detangle it and mold it okay when you mold your hair that's about a five minute job it probably took me 20 so i blow dried it out and then i'm gonna go back into molding it for my next style which would the drying time will be cut all the way down to at least about 30 minutes because the last um molding process that i did when i parted my hair with the gel it took a whole day for it to dry i had to end up just throwing the wig on before i actually redid my hair and like i said before my honeys if you have not already please be sure to go ahead and subscribe like share leave a comment everything and then some my honeys and make sure you hit the notification bell so you will know every time i come when i come to spill this goodness okay so i give it to you raw i'm cut and dirty my honey so make sure okay that you stay tuned for future videos because i don't come to play okay i come to slay and with that being said at this point in the video <laughs> i will see my honeys on the next one, uh, 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 uh. the next one, uh, 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 uh.
Bye, guys. Love you guys. But before I go, make sure that you go and check out our Amazon store down below in the description where all these products can be found. And also to check out kaleshairandbeauty.com to get you a nice bonnet. We got baby bonnets. We have lashes. I told you we have those ink pens, those notebooks. So you could take these tips down, my honeys, and be ready for your next layage. And that's just that, okay? So make sure you support this channel and go check us out below. And therefore, we can get winning this year on this good old hair growth journey. Mm.